Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of energy futures. We're going to start with ice Brent crude oil futures. A third bullish white soldier yesterday and a new high for April. Prices pushed up and closed over last week's high at 68.08 with a strong move. This continues to be a follow-on from the break higher out of the recent sideways triangle. Overall, I asked in the middle of last week whether we had a basing action here formed over the moves uh, mid-March to date. That question now seems to be yes. It now also brings to the fore a bigger question. Is the action from early November last year to today and maybe going forward a possible double top or a huge bullish measured move type pattern? We haven't resolved that yet but I suspect we are getting closer to a resolution. What we will need is to see the, how the market acts at the secondary high in March at 70.03. Significant multiple consecutive closes over that level and we could be going the way of a bullish halfway hesitation. Anything else may, only may, open the door for a double top type action. All is still far from clear. In the meantime, something else has crept up upon us all uh, with that move over 6808. We may have a weekly key reversal this week. If prices close tonight over either over 6677 or under 6611, then we'd be on. Right now, it's looking like a weekly key reversal up. So far today, a lower open and a possible bearish hurrah mini offing moving back below the 6808 level. This has not directly threatened the idea of a weekly key reversal up, but it is sure something that you'd rather not see just before one happens. Ice gas oil futures. A third bullish white soldier, another new high, not seen since the middle of March, and this time it is with a bullish opening white marabozo. This is a further follow-on to the move higher and out of the recent sideways triangle two weeks ago. However, it still is nevertheless leaves the discussion open on whether the market is having a huge double top or a bullish measured move stroke halfway hesitation higher. All originating from the early November 2020 move up. That still needs res resolving. It will very much depend on what and if the action will be over the 550 level and the secondary high of March at 556 and a half. Additionally, whatever key feature has occurred that will be resolved today, we are on for a weekly key reversal here this week. If prices close tonight, either over 531 and a half or under 525 even, then we'll be on anything else and we'll have a lesser outside week. Currently we're looking at a weekly key reversal up. So far today a little bit of hesitation and insecurity around yesterday's close. This doesn't as yet affect the idea of a weekly key reversal up but it isn't something you'd like to see when trying to secure one. Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives essential market patterns and, pro and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.